our fifth video will discuss projectile motion. First, let's talk about a few definitions. A projectile is a propelled object that travels through the air but has no means to propel itself. Basically, a projectile is an object thrown at an angle. In order to solve projectile problems, we need to break the problems into two dimensions, or the x and the y components. Projectile motion is defined as the movement of a projectile as it travels through the air, influenced only by its initial velocity and gravitational acceleration. For our purposes, acceleration in x will always be zero, and acceleration in y will always be acceleration due to gravity, which is either 9.80 meters per second squared, or 32.2 feet per second squared. In order to solve projectile motion problems, there is a certain process you will want to follow. You will want to separate out the velocity into its x and y components. Then you will want to separate out distance into its x and y components. Then you will use the vertical component of velocity and uniformly accelerated motion equations to determine the time or how long the projectile will be in the air. Once we have the time, we will substitute that into the equation s sub x equals v sub x times t to find the range or the x component. We will use this abbreviated equation because gravitational acceleration does not act in the horizontal direction, it only acts in the vertical direction. One thing that we definitely need to remember is that motion in x is independent of motion in y. In other words, gravitational acceleration has no impact on what is going on in the x component. Let's take a look at an example. A bolt rolls off a workbench that is 3.50 feet high with an initial horizontal velocity of 0 0.500 feet per second. How far from the edge of the bench does the bolt land? First, we will record everything that we know. The initial velocity in y, or v sub i y, is 0 feet per second because initially there was no motion from the bolt in the y direction. The initial velocity in x is the full 0 0.500 feet per second. The distance in y, or s sub y, is 3.5 feet above the ground. We also know the acceleration, which is only occurring in the y direction, is 32.2 feet per second squared, which is the acceleration due to gravity. We are trying to find the distance in x, which is how far from the edge of the bench the bolt lands. In order to solve a problem like this, where we are independently solving in the x and y directions, we will need two basic equations. We will first use the distance equation in y to solve for time, and then we will substitute that time in the distance equation for x to solve for the distance. Therefore, our basic equations are s sub y equals initial velocity in y plus one half acceleration multiplied by time squared. The other basic equation is s sub x equals velocity in x multiplied by time. Since there is no acceleration in x, the other term in the distance formula drops out. Now, to find the working equation in y, we have to rearrange to solve for t. Luckily, there is no initial velocity in y, so that entire term drops out, and we can multiply both sides by 2 divided by a, and then take the square root. Therefore, the first working equation is time equals the square root of 2 times the distance in y divided by acceleration. The working equation in x is the same as the basic equation, so the distance in x equals the velocity in x multiplied by time. Now that we have our working equations, the next step is substitution. We will substitute in the equation solving for time in y because we don't have enough information to substitute into the equation in x. This means that time is equal to the square root of 2 times 3.5 feet divided by 32.2 feet per second squared. Calculating this gives us 0 0.466 seconds for the time the bolt is in the air. The time it takes for the bolt to hit the floor is going to be the same for either dimension, so time for x is also 0.466 seconds. Substituting into the distance equation in x, we see that 0.5 feet per second times 0.466 seconds equals 0.233 feet. That means that the bolt lands about 0.233 feet from the edge of the bench. This concludes our first example on projectile motion.